Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about why a bright spot on your hip MRI could be a big problem. And this lecture is going to be a little bit between patients and providers. So our registry data shows that patients with severe hip arthritis don't respond as well to a same-day stem cell procedure as those with severe knee arthritis. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't respond at all. We have seen some good responses. It just means on average. In addition to that, mild and moderate hip arthritis tend to respond better to a same-day stem cell injection. Now, we've been making some procedural adjustments through the years, and we are seeing better results. But can we do more to improve hip stem cell outcomes? Well, what's interesting is that hips have fewer native stem cells than knees, meaning they really lack the same self-repair mechanism. And hips also can have much more rapid uh, changes on MRI than knees. In fact, a, uh, a hip can go within a year while knees smolder for years and years. Bone cysts are uncommon in knee arthritis, but they're very common in arthritic hips, just like you can see there off to the right, uh, which is basically a hole in the bone, or what's called a bone cyst. Now, a bright spot or dark spot on the bone on MRI is called a bone marrow lesion or a BML. It's an area on the bone that has microscopic fractures. It's commonly associated with pain. In fact, it's reliably associated with pain, whereas cartilage loss is not reliably associated with pain. And it may also be associated with why the cartilage goes away. So this is what, a, what we call a T2 BML, meaning it's bright on a T2 sequence looks like. It's that white stuff that the arrows are pointing to in the otherwise dark bone. Now, what's interesting is there's now a study out there that shows that bigger BMLs at baseline, meaning when they started to look at the patient's hip arthritis on MRI, was associated with basically uh, worsening and uh, poorer quality of life, meaning that these BMLs mean something. And this is consistent with other studies correlating these BMLs with hip pain. So what's interesting is, should we be treating the bone with stem cells in addition to the joint? Meaning, are we getting clues here about why hip arthritis is a different animal than knee arthritis? And should we be treating the bone with as much intensity as we treat the joint in hip arthritis? Now, that's something that we've been doing off and on now for years, and we're starting to get the sense that the research is catching up to where we were a couple years ago. It's starting to show that we should probably get a little more aggressive with these bone lesions and treat the bone in addition to the joint. So interesting stuff to think about. And uh, thank you for watching and, and have a great day.